Hi, in this problem we're going to evaluate this limit. So the first thing you should always try when evaluating limits is to take this number and put it where the x is. If you do that, in this case, you're gonna end up with four minus four or zero on the bottom. And that's no good. We're not allowed to have zero on the bottom. So we need a new approach. And I'm thinking there's two ways to do this. Method one, we can actually perform the subtraction. Method two, we can clear the fraction. I'm going to show you how to clear the fraction. Let's go ahead and rewrite our limit. X approaches four, and we have one over X minus one over four. And it's all being divided by X minus four. So to clear the fractions in the numerator, we basically have to get rid of the four and to get rid of the X. To get rid of the four, we can multiply by four. So I'll put a four here. And to get rid of the X, we have to multiply by X. So I'll put an X here. The problem is that this is technically incorrect. You're not just allowed to multiply stuff by whatever you want. The only thing you can multiply stuff by and preserve your expression is one. So what we'll do is we'll divide this four X by another four X. So now basically we're multiplying everything by one. So nothing is being changed. Also, I should emphasize that there are parentheses here, so it's really important to at least think about them, but we'll do better than that. We'll go ahead and write them. Okay, let's go ahead and distribute in the next step. So we have the limit as x approaches four. And so now we're going to distribute. Normally I would do this in my head, but because this is a video, I'll go ahead and show you the work. So it's one over x times four x times 4x minus, and then it's one over four times 4x. We're basically just taking this 4x and multiplying it by each of these terms. It's called distributing, divided by, and then here we have x minus four times, and then we still have the 4x here. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up the numerator. So this is the limit as x approaches four. And looks like the x's cancel here. So we're left with four. And here the fours cancel, so we're left with x. Oh, this is interesting, whoops, x. This is interesting, this is really cool. And then here we have x minus four times four x. Something interesting is going to happen uh, right now. So check this out. This is the limit. As x approaches 4. And the interesting thing here is that we can do something with this numerator. So it would be really nice if this was an x minus 4, because then we would be able to cancel and then plug in the 4. So what we're going to do is just write it down x minus 4. We might say, hey, you can't do that. You can't just change stuff. You're right, we can't. But we can fix it. What we're really doing is we're pulling out a negative 1. We're factoring out a negative one from the four minus x, because watch this. Negative one times x is negative x. Negative one times negative four is positive four. If you're wondering how I knew to do that, it's because I've done it before, right? It comes up a, a lot in these types of problems. These cancel, so this is equal to the limit. As x approaches four, we still have that really big negative one up top. There we go, now it's little. <laughs> over 4x. Oh, we've finally reached a point where we can plug in the number. We can rejoice. And remember, when you take this number and you plug it in, that's when you drop the limit sign. So this is negative 1 over, and this is 4 times 4. So this is negative 1 over 16. And that would be the final answer. Kind of a nice problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.